just, I, I'm amazed at, at how much work has been done. You know, like a lot of the hard stuff, the stuff that you'll never see when she's back on the rails uh, that has to be addressed, you know. Just a lot of work and a lot of paint, uh, a lot of fresh metal. It's really great to see. Dedication. I mean, this uh, this don't just happen. Huh? You guys have put hours and hours and weeks and weeks and months and months into this. I let, but I, the thing I love about it is, is when we talk to everybody that's involved in this project, in this building, everybody is in it up to their heart. Yeah. And that's the only reason to do a project like this because, you know, there's something to show for it afterwards it'll live on and on and on. So I'm so impressed with the people. She's seen a lot of change, that's for sure. Um, and but what I think is gonna happen when she when she gets back out there is she's going to kind of bring people back to center a little bit on, on the kind of technology and, and the kind of uh, industry that was happening here in Nashville back in the 40s. Uh, it's no longer here. We're, we're, a lot of things are disappearing. She'll be a reminder of what's great about Nashville. That's what I love about it is that, um, you know, sometimes I look at what remains as like an oak tree presence more than things that change because change is inevitable. But I love the things that remind us that there is a, a solid track, if you will. You know, and this, the Ryman Auditorium comes to me, yeah. the Parthenon. You know, there's a few touchstones in Nashville. And this train was relegated as kind of a tourist attraction for a long time. But she's so much more than that. She's, she's going to emerge as a symbol of, you know, timelessness to me. Well, I remember there was a conversation uh, in the, I believe the Opryland got the Grand Ole Opry House about 1974. And the Ryman became, you know, just this old building downtown. I went, remember paying $2 to walk in in uh, the 70s, and there were pigeons flying around, but you could just, there was one lady sitting on stage just kind of tending and whatever. But um, they were going to tear it down, use the bricks to build a chapel at Opryland theme park, which is now gone. Uh, as a reminder and kind of a tribute to the Ram. And I remember I went to Bud Wendell, the CEO of Gaylord. I said, Bud, this can't happen. And Emmy Lou Harris piled on. There was a four or five of us piled on. And I don't know what Bud went behind the curtain and said, but when he came out, uh, he said, we get to save the building. And they found money inside of their corporation to save the building. And I got to be a part of the ribbon cutting of the first you know, event at the Ram along with several other people, but it was one of those things, just like what you've done, it was something that was precious and not to be just bulldozed. And a lot of people found that in their heart. And you know as well as I do, it takes a lot of work and a lot of effort, but you just have to just start ringing that bell and see who comes to it, right? But there, that's the idea, is just get the bell ring. Yeah. Duchess has been invited back, and I think that when you when you go out there for an encore, you kind of give something a little extra, a little something that's a little more special maybe than, I mean, the show is really special, right? But um, it's just a little something extra. And this is hopefully going to be a long encore. <laughs> it ain't going to quit for a long time. So, uh, and, and being placed in a modern Nashville, a relic that is authentic and, and a reminder of our past uh, to be alive again, that's that's going to be pretty special to watch. I think performers get in, I don't care what anybody says, but we love this, we love applause, we love traveling around with buses and putting on cowboy clothes and singing songs, and have people accept this. That's what we do for a living. But when that quits and that stops, it's, a, it's really lonesome and you have to change a lot of things around to survive. And if, for somebody to tap you on the shoulder and says, you're still cool, you're still yeah. relevant, come on. Yeah. That's a wonderful feeling. And on top of what everything Harry just said, the thing I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to the future stories that come from this train, but the stories that this train has already is a mile plus. But there's a whole new chapter ahead, I think, that I'm looking forward to yeah. seeing what happens.